Hi right, Jim, here's a look at the power strip with some suggested settings for female vocals. We'll start here with the selector. We want to put that in mic mode. You've also got selections for line, if you want to process anything after you've recorded it, or instrument, should you want to record a bass or electric guitar direct. You've got phantom power here and phase invert should you need them. Once you've selected that, you want to reach all the way over to the right to the compressor section, which also houses the controls for the mic pre-input. Input is handled with this knob, that is your mic gain fixing into, uh, traveling into a fixed threshold compressor. You've got output here for your makeup gain. Attack and release are handled by a single control called your time constant, slower settings counterclockwise, and faster settings moving clockwise. Here we have our high pass filter, which you probably won't need for vocals. Move that to the off setting or compressor out should you choose you don't want to compress. Right here we see our subsonic filter. Again, probably not necessary for vocals. So I've got that in the off position and our equalizer in switch showing that we've engaged the EQ. Right here in the center of the screen are the controls for the high band. We've got a frequency selector here for our boost amount. I've got that set at 14K. You're probably going to want to play somewhere between 10 and 16K. And then our boost amount dial in as much high end as you'd like. Separately, you can cut in the high end simultaneously. And I've gone ahead and selected 5K for that, which is where a lot of vocal sibilance lies. And here's your knob for adjusting the amount of cut that you're adding to the EQ. Our bandwidth control helps to control the shape of those EQs. Moving down here to the low end, I've set it to 100 Hertz. Boosting 100 Hz on vocals can sometimes help bring the vocal forward in a mix. Rolling it out can clean up the low end. I think you'll find these settings very useful, and I look forward to hearing what you think of the gear. Thanks.